Hello, this is Dr. Dlin speaking. Do you know which mineral is one of the most underrated? It takes part in more than 300 biochemical reactions, from heart function and the nervous system to energy production and healthy bones. I'm talking about magnesium. But the problem is, magnesium comes in many different forms. You'll find dozens of types on pharmacy shelves. There's citrate, orotate, glycinate, chelate, L-theanate. How do you make sense of all this? Let's try to figure it out together. I'll give you detailed recommendations on when and in which cases to take each type of magnesium. So make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. So let's start with why our body even needs magnesium in the first place. It takes part in hundreds of processes. Without it, muscles, nerves, and even the heart can't function properly. First and foremost, magnesium is an active participant in our metabolism. It's needed for the production of ADP, the main source of energy for our cells. It helps ensure restful sleep, relaxation, and reduces nervous excitability. This mineral controls the contraction and relaxation of muscles, including the heart muscle, relaxes blood vessel walls, and helps maintain normal blood pressure. Together with vitamin D and calcium, it reduces the risk of osteoporosis. Without magnesium, our reproductive and endocrine systems suffer. I think that's enough to realize how important it is. And that's not even the full list yet. So how can you tell if your body is lacking magnesium? A blood test won't show it, since magnesium is found in many tissues besides blood. That's why I recommend paying attention to the following symptoms. Cramps and spasms in the legs, especially at night, twitching of the eyelids or muscles, arrhythmias, increased tooth sensitivity, cavities, cramps and bone pain during physical activity, a tendency toward vascular spasms, blood pressure fluctuations, cold hands and feet, fatigue, irritability, and insomnia. In cases where magnesium deficiency reaches serious levels, patients can experience convulsive seizures, severe arrhythmias, and sometimes even life-threatening situations. So if you have even a few of the symptoms listed above, that's already a reason to think about prevention and start actively taking magnesium. So, how does magnesium actually enter the body? The best sources of magnesium are considered to be nuts and seeds. These include almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and pumpkin seeds. To activate their enzymes, soak them in cool water for a few hours. That way, they'll be even healthier. Grains and legumes, buckwheat, oatmeal, pearl barley, whole grain bread, chickpeas, Magnesium is also found in greens and vegetables, such as spinach, parsley, broccoli, and avocado. Don't forget about fruits and dried fruits, including bananas, figs, prunes, dried apricots, and raisins. Seafood is also rich in magnesium, salmon, mackerel, shrimp, and mussels. I also can't help but mention cocoa and dark chocolate, which I really love, 70% and above. And you can also add water with a high magnesium content to your diet. Magnesium also works great in combination with vitamin B6, for example, bananas and nuts. This helps magnesium penetrate cells more quickly. Magnesium is also often recommended to be taken with vitamin D. Magnesium activates it and enhances its effect. So keep that in mind. Be sure to write in the comments which magnesium-rich foods you eat, what you always have in your diet, or what you crave. Now let's move on to the forms of magnesium. So. The first form of magnesium we'll talk about is magnesium citrate. This is a very common form of magnesium and is always available in pharmacies. It is very well absorbed by the body and affects the gastrointestinal tract. It's very effective for constipation because it gently relaxes the intestines. Magnesium citrate is also prescribed to patients who complain of cramps and muscle tension. But pay attention. For some people, magnesium citrate can cause loose stools. So pay attention to how your body reacts to it. The next form of magnesium is orotate. This form is combined with orotic acid and is most often prescribed for heart disease. This type of magnesium supports the heart muscle, improves energy metabolism in cardiomyocytes, and can even reduce the risk of arrhythmias. That's why athletes love it. You can often find magnesium orotate in sports nutrition stores. The gentlest form of magnesium for the stomach is magnesium glycinate. It has virtually no side effects, which is why it's often recommended as a dietary supplement. Magnesium glycinate helps people with insomnia, high stress levels, and anxiety. And if you're watching this video without subscribing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
Here you'll find videos about health, medicine, supplements, and both effective and ineffective treatment methods. By subscribing, you'll always get up-to-date information from me about your health. Now, let's continue. Chelated magnesium is a kind of universal substitute for almost any type of magnesium. Why? The answer lies in the name itself. In Greek, sheol means claw or talon. In medicine, this means that it, in our case, magnesium, is sort of grabbed by a carrier molecule. Usually, this is an amino acid or another organic compound. So you get a complex where the mineral is held in the claws of the molecule. That's why magnesium chelate is absorbed so well by the body. It's used to generally replenish magnesium deficiency and is prescribed to patients who have trouble absorbing other forms. And now, let's move on to the most modern and effective type of magnesium. It's the only one that can cross the blood-brain barrier. That's kind of like a filter between our blood and our brain. It's very strictly designed. It only lets the most essential substances into the brain, like glucose, oxygen, and amino acids. Everything else, like toxins, excess medications, and microbes, it blocks. And almost all forms of magnesium that we take don't pass through this barrier. So they work on the heart, muscles, and intestines, but don't go directly into the brain. And the only form that can do this is magnesium L-threonate. It's bound to a threonate acid molecule. This is a derivative of vitamin C. It's this bond that helps it slip through the filter and reach our brain. So what does this do for us? First, it improves memory and concentration, enhances cognitive functions, and reduces the risk of age-related decline in brain function. And magnesium L-threonate can also improve the function of nerve cells. And most importantly, this has been confirmed by research. For example, in one meta-analysis, participants aged 50 to 70 who complained of memory issues took magnesium L-threonate for 12 weeks. At the end of the course, all of them showed improvement in working memory functions. Another study showed that magnesium L-threonate can improve sleep quality and enhance learning ability. That's why I, along with many other modern specialists, consider this form to be the most, most effective. Well, that's all I have for today. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. I think you now know much more about magnesium and its properties, and you'll be able to choose the supplement that's right for you. As always, this was Dr. Glenn with you. See you next time.